Real-time reaction to the high court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade, striking down the constitutional right to abortion, leaving that decision for states to decide. Stepped up security and barricades set up around the court complex where crowds gathered for the opinion. Abortion has been a constitutional right for nearly five decades, but with a 6-3 conservative majority on the court, abortion rights supporters have feared it would only be a matter of time before Roe v. Wade was overturned. According to a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion obtained by Politico in May and confirmed as authentic by Chief Justice John Roberts, a majority of justices voted to end federal protections for abortions and let states make their own abortion laws instead. Justice Samuel Alito writing for the majority in the draft stating that Roe was wrongly decided. Like abortion rights supporters immediately expressing alarm. This morning, the radical Supreme Court is eviscerating Americans' rights and endangering their health and safety. Thousands took to the streets to protest as soon as the leak happened, some even demonstrating outside the homes of conservative justices. 26 states were poised to quickly move to severely restrict access to abortion or ban it outright. 13 have already passed so-called trigger laws that would ban the procedure once Roe is struck down. The goal of this is to protect the child, the, the unborn child. And now a number of Democrat-led states are expanding abortion rights access, making it easier for women to travel to those states for the procedure. At the Supreme Court, I'm Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.